Yeah, uh, the Chinese have indicated that they are definitely not going to be backing down. Uh, the Commerce Ministry today uh, said that Trump's tariffs are extreme pressure and blackmailing. So some very strong language there. Uh, China said that it would fight back firmly and that it would consider qualitative and quantitative steps. And that uh, has really gotten the attention of the business community here in the United, uh, here in China uh, because, th uh, as you guys were just discussing, uh, there's a lot of questions as to exactly how China would be able to strike back, as they have said, with equal scale and equal strength. Because at the end of the day, China exports to the United States $506 billion worth of goods, whereas the U.S. Uh, exports to the Ch to China only 130 billion, as you guys were uh, uh, rightly noting. So, uh, what then uh, does that leave for China in terms of retaliatory measures? So, there have been a lot of people talking about how they're um, expecting uh, potential consumer boycotts, safety inspections, approval delays. There's a lot of uh, discussion going on about what China could do in order to try to get back at the United States now. Despite all of this tough talk, uh, the Chinese are also quite nervous about the impact on the economy and on, and you could see that reflected in the stock market. And that was one of the reasons why we saw the stock market fall today, uh, because of this idea that if you look at the actual data that's coming out of China, a lot of the data is showing a weaker economy. So you have a slowdown in FAI, uh, the property market has also been showing some signs of trouble, you have the rising debt, uh, some issues with credit. And so all of this is, is leading to trouble for the Chinese economy. So some of the folks who I've been speaking to say at the end, China really might not be well positioned to be able to last a very long trade war, despite the fact that uh, they're talking tough. Now, now, what they do have in their pocket is political will. And that is uh, going to be the big question as to whether or not uh, President Trump would have the, uh, the same level of political will if uh, farmers, for example, in America start squawking about uh, the soybeans prices or that they can't really sell what they need to to China, uh, who's going to cave first? And so those are uh, some of the, the, um, the levers that we're looking at here in China.